And welcome back on your Friday morning just before 445. Uh, we got some dramatic, dramatic changes on the way over the next 24 hours, and that comes with a very strong cold front. Before the cold air gets here, we are watching that potential for a few strong storms and severe thunderstorms as we go through your day. Already tracking a few of those showers and storms this morning. None of them severe right now. They are producing some heavy rain at times and some lightning and thunder, but uh, so far we've been okay. There's a pretty good storm down here right over Port Sulphur and just north of Burish right now. Also some showers down off the coast and then notice some spotty showers moving up through Slidell and going into Hancock County this morning. Also watching us sail closer to Gonzales. That'll likely head up towards Tangipole Parish over the next hour or two. Notice big area showers and storms heading up towards Florida, more isolated off our Louisiana coast, but that's what we'll be watching this morning as isolated uh, showers with a few thunderstorms. And notice rain chances are actually a little bit lower through the daytime hours, but as we get into the late afternoon and evening, that's when rain chances start to spike and most of our area will at least see some rainfall at some point today. Starts isolated this morning, stays pretty isolated during the early afternoon. Notice some spotty showers and storms through the day, but then as we get closer to sunset, that's as our cold front approaches, and that's when we'll have better ingredients to see more widespread showers and a few strong storms as we go into the evening hours. And then even as we go closer to midnight, could still have some rain around, but that's when the cold air is rushing on in and it's actually possible once you get up towards north of Macomb, kind of up towards Hattiesburg and up towards I-20, maybe a little frozen precipitation trying to mix in late, late tonight. Not expecting any impacts, but that is a sign that the cold air is on the way. So there's the cold air by tomorrow morning. Look at this. We go from the 70s this afternoon to the 30s uh, tomorrow morning, but it is going to be so windy and we're going to have a wind chill before the cold air gets here, though. We will have a little bit of increase in our moisture and temperatures later today, and that means we do have a low threat for severe weather. It looks like the best ingredients for this are going to be mainly south of the lake. The closer you get to the coast and especially just off to our east. Once you get closer to Alabama and Florida, the severe weather threat is going to be higher through the day. So we are setting at a level two out of five, a little bit higher than we were thinking yesterday, but generally maybe one to two strong storms with strong damaging wind gusts and even an isolated tornado is certainly possible. I think that would be later on this afternoon into this evening. More than likely the severe weather threat early this morning is actually pretty low. Then once we get past today, we're dry through the weekend and then we'll throw in a chance for showers and storms again on Tuesday. Other big part of this story are those strong winds that are behind the cold front and behind the rain. We'll have sunshine, but the winds will be still gusting upwards of 40 to 45 miles per hour. That starts tonight and they're out of the north. They stay out of the north all tomorrow and notice winds are still going to be gusty throughout the afternoon on Saturday, which means we're going to have a wind chill. So this is what it's going to feel like tomorrow morning. 20s and low 30s across a big part of the area. And then as we go through your Saturday afternoon, wind chills really do stay around 40, 38, 40 degrees through the entire day. So it is going to be a cold, windy day tomorrow, but it will be sunny. So that sunshine will help just a bit. Then as we go into Saturday night into Sunday morning, that will be the actual coldest temperatures where we are expecting a frost and a freeze pretty much for everyone. Notice a freeze likely on the North Shore in the upper 20s, 20s and 30s down to the Bayou Parishes. And then in the Metro we will be in the mid 30s, which is enough to support frost. So whether you're north and west of the lake or here in the metro on the south shore, all the way down to Bell Chase, all the way down to central and lower Lafouche, I would protect plants. I would protect gardens. Just cover things up tonight if you can't bring it in because it will be one of those cold snaps that could do some damage to some of these spring uh, plants. Also, don't forget we spring forward an hour Saturday night to Sunday morning, and then there we are quickly returning back to the 70s as we go into Monday.